<laughs> we <Yay>! got it! <laughs> oh my god! What is up guys, my name is John and in this channel I capture and film most fish species out of Maryland waters and teach you what I learned along the way. In today's episode I'm targeting some big Maryland carp and going through some rigs and tactics that you can use to catch carp. Today I am back at the canal fishing with dad. We're gonna be targeting some carp today on packed bait. We've come here quite a lot over the past few months and we haven't been that successful, but I've seen some big carp jump out of this spot. So cross my fingers, today's the day that we finally get to figure out what's living in this piece of water. Let's go catch some carp. So I'm gonna cast as close to the stones as I can. We've just seen a few carp splashing just very close into the margins. So I've recruited my dad to go around and chuck some bait where my uh, lead is gonna land just to have an extra bait around the lead to have a little more at attraction around our hook bait. Uh, so we're just gonna do that and get our first rods out. I got one. Whew. Yeah. Too bad I wasn't recording. There he goes. Whew. First fish of the day. Oh man. What is this? I was just coming to get my rod out. Oh, he's running towards me, he's running towards me, he's run, running towards me. Oh, yes. <sighs> Come on. He's trying to go to the snag. Oh, I see it, I see it. What is it? Oh, he's a carp. Yes. Whew. All right, carp. Me puedo ayudar a agarrarla? My dad's gonna help me net the carp. It's because I'm not really that great at it. All right. <laughs> we yeah. got it! Oh Woo. my god! That's one carp <laughs> in the net. <laughs> oh my god! Yes! Oh. <laughs> All right. So after about four months of coming here on us on successful trips, I was finally able to catch. A carp. This looks about the same size 
That's the last carp I caught. I'm absolutely over the moon to have caught this one. They're such cool fish. And it's just the first of the day, so we've seen them jumping all around over here, so I definitely know we're gonna get on some more fish today, and I cannot wait to get my dad on his first carp. This was my fish for the day, it's his turn next, so hopefully we can catch another one. <laughs> There he goes. <laughs> Pack bait. It is a commonly used carp bait in the United States. It can be made from a large list of different carbohydrates. But I use a mixture of breadcrumbs, canned cream of corn, and canned whole corn, jello flavoring. You can use any flavor, but I like to use strawberry. And flavor soda. Firstly, mix in dry ingredients. Then add the cream corn and the whole corn, making sure to drain any excess water from the can. The cream corn helps the bait stay together a little better when casting. The soda will mostly be used to dampen the mixture if it becomes dry during your session. The rig I used to catch this carp is called a hair rig and it's a fantastic rig to use if you're planning to catch and release because it keeps you from gut hooking the fish. To tie this rig, you'll need your hook of choice, some strong braided line, your bait of choice, I prefer to use fake corn because it helps to keep turtles from eating the hook bait some bait stops, you can buy this online or simply use a piece of twig, a weighted jig head as an improvised baiting needle, and a method lead. Firstly, remove the swivel from the method lead. Feed the main line through your method lead and tie it to the swivel using a simple polymer knot. To tie the hair rig, cut off about 12 inches of braided line. Double the line on itself at one end and tie a simple overhand knot. This will give you a little loop that will act as the hair. Then grab the other end of the line and feed the line through the eye of the hook towards the hook point until the hair is just below the hook. Then tie a knotless knot by wrapping the line seven times around the shank of the hook, then wrap it one time going back up and then feed the line through the eye of the hook once again towards the hook point. Then make another overhand knot at the other end of the rig to create a loop. But make this loop big enough for your hook and bait to fit through.
To bait the hook, take your weighted jig head and straighten out the hook with a pair of pliers. You can use this as an improvised baiting needle. Put your bait of choice through the modified hook, making sure to go past the barb. Then wedge the hair of the rig to the barb of the hook by applying tension to the line and carefully slide your bait onto the hair. Then finish the rig by securing the bait on the hair with a bait stop. If you don't have a bait stop, you can also use a small piece of wood. Finally, attach the rig to your main line by feeding the rig through the swivel halfway and then loop the rig onto itself by feeding the hook bait through the loop on your rig. Then tighten. Your rig is now complete. To bait the method lead, simply squeeze a handful of packed bait on top of the method lead until it sticks. Then bury the hook on top and you are ready for a casting. It was a few weeks until me and dad were able to get back on the bank for another session, but I was eager to go back and try to get him on his first ever carp. So today I am back once again at the canal fishing for carp. It's been about a month since the last time I was here. I am here today with my father once again and my mission today is just to try to get him on a carp because last time I was able to catch one but he went home with a blank so it's all about trying to get him on his first ever carp on a line and hook. Uh, we just got here, we just uh, put up the hammocks, I just put some bait on the spot, so all that's left to do is put in the rods and uh, start fishing. So let's see if we can catch one today. So he just got caught in a branch. I'm gonna have to get in the water and uh, untangle it. Oh man, okay, dele. Okay, he's free. He's fighting the fish now. I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it. It's a carp. Got it. <laughs> well, there you go. A little carp. <laughs> but it works. <laughs> yes. My primer carpa. Pesca con línea. Wow. Gracias por por dejar de agarrar. En otra vez cuando esté más grande te vamos a agarrar otra vez. ¡Ay qué bonita! Mira qué bonito se fue. ¡Qué emoción! ¡Qué emoción! Okay, update. It's 5:50 at the moment. We've been fishing for about four hours now and we've only caught the one fish. It's been very quiet after the last fish, uh, but still been, I've been keeping the bait going in. Uh, still have the rods out, so hopefully I can get my fish today. We, only, we still have you know, about an hour left of fishing, so still have some hope. I've just been chilling here in the hammock, 
Just uh, waiting for a bite. It's pretty chill. Really recommend that you bring your own hammock when you're out car fishing because this is just so relaxing. It was the only carp caught during that last session, but it was well worth it. That's gonna be it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you learned something, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.